Hello everybody and welcome back or hello if this is your first time here to Handbag Angels YouTube channel. I am very excited about today's video. It has been very highly requested over on our Instagram and our TikTok and stuff like that and today I'm finally sitting down to film it. Today is going to be all about our entire Louis Vuitton collection. As you can see, I have got a few lovely bags sat behind me but by no means is that the full collection. So get ready because I think this is going to be quite a long video. I'm not going to go too in depth with each handbag because I feel like that's more of like um that's more related to like individual reviews of handbags so if there are any bags that you want to see more of please do just comment below and I'm sure we can arrange doing a video on just individual specific handbags. Also just to mention I'm not going to go too into too much detail about our handbag liners for the bags but what I will do is for every single handbag shown in this video I will link below um, the organisers for that bag and that will take you to our website if you were interested in purchasing some organisers. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to start with the smaller Louis Vuitton handbags that we have and kind of work my way up to the larger ones. And the first bag that I'm going to show, share with you is the Quasette. As you can see, we have our Quasette in the Damier Ben canvas. It has a lovely red lining and that is also on the interior as well as you can see but it's just really nice how you kind of see that side as well it has a really cute leather tassel set on the side like a little bag charm and you can take that on and off as well which is always good so there's what it looks like on oops there's what it looks like at the front and there is the back so no pockets on the outside or anything like that it does come with a longer strap and i'll show i'll add like a little video to the side of my screen what it looks like on myself and it has uh, I can't really speak very well today and it has a cute top handle there as well so it's got gold hardware as you can see on the front and the opening I'm not really sure how I feel about the opening of this handbag I find it a bit faffy I feel like it doesn't need to be this faffy I say that but you might find it really easy really handy to have an opening like this but what you do is you squeeze those sides and then it releases the flap from that little lock there but I think what I find annoying about it is that you can't lift it up with those um buttons you have to let go of the buttons and then go on, on to lifting the flap yourself which I think when you've got the bag on I just think it's a bit of a faff it's nothing it's not by no means a huge issue that's just something that I find about this bag it could be a lot easier if the buttons were attached to the flap and then as you pressed in those buttons you could then lift it up but anyway that's just a little niggle that i have about the quasette like i said before when you open it you have this beautiful red lining in most of these handbags um i will already have our organizers inside but um for the sake of the video i am going to take them out so you can get a true feel and a true insight as to what they do look like on the inside so there we have the inside again it's red on the actual inside of the bag not just the flap and you have one internal pocket in there it is just a slip pocket i can just Fit, uh, just about fit my hand in but yeah there we have the quasette as far as i know they only have one size of the quasette i will double check that and i'm also going to display on the screen the current prices this collection that we have has been gathered over quite a few years about, around two or three years so when we bought them the prices were different because obviously louis vuitton are quite known for doing their annoying price increases but um i really don't know exact prices of the bags that they were when we bought them so i will just list on the screen the current handbag prices i do feel like the quasette is quite underrated i know all over instagram and youtube and stuff like that we see the alma bb everywhere as you can see it's sat there behind me and i feel like this is an alma bb alternative it, they are in my eyes are very similar very similar sizes style and i just think this is really cute speaking of the alma bb that is the handbag that i'm going to go on to next but i did just think i would just do a quick side by side of the two just so you can see what i mean they are in ways quite similar again we have our alma bb in the damier ben um, another handbag with another uh, bag charm on and the keys just hang out there you then have the padlock on the zips which quite a lot of Louis Vuitton bags do have Something I forgot to mention about the Quasette is that it doesn't have feet. The Alma BB, however, does have feet, as you can see those um, gold little studs. So yeah, I do like how the Alma BB has, Alma BB has feet, so I'm not worrying about this lovely smooth bottom getting scratched. There's the front and back. Again, no, no pockets or anything on the outside of this bag. 
It does have a, du a double zip, which I do always find a really nice touch. By the way, you can remove the padlocks and I'm pretty sure you can remove the keys. Yeah, you can remove the keys. We just keep ours on just because if we took them off, we would probably lose them. <laughs> Same as the Quasette, this bag does come with a longer strap. Again, I'll add a little video showing what it looks like on me, just if you wanted to see what it looks like. Another similarity between this and the Quasette is the red interior. It's the exact same colour and like I said about the Quasette, it is always nice when you've got that pop of colour on your handbags. Just take the liner out and there you have inside of the Armour BB. Again, you've got one slip pocket there. That does actually look a bit, feel a bit smaller than the pocket in the Quasette. You wouldn't be able to get a phone in there, but definitely like a little card holder or something. And yeah, that's what it looks like. But yeah, there you have the Armour BB in Damier Eben. Moving on, next up, we have our Louis Vuitton Nice Minute. This is actually our newest purchase. Uh, we got this, I want to say two weeks ago now. It's always out of stock on Louis Vuitton and it finally came in and we, we just pressed the button and we got it because we've been wanting it for a while. We're constantly getting asked for organisers for it and again, I do actually have planned to do a video on this because we have a few different organiser styles but I'm not going to go into those in this video like I've said about every single bag. This will be a separate video. But this is the first monogram canvas piece that we've looked at today. So as you can see, it is just covered in LV. It's got... um like a bruschetta leather piping along the bottom which it's a nice little touch it looks cute and then it has the bruschetta handle now what i will quickly show you is the bruschetta on this bag compared to our never fall over there that used to look like this and it's, it's just amazing to see how much it can change and i put these two bags next to each other yesterday and i did actually do like a TikTok on it on how to um well our top tips for keeping your bruschetta as fresh and as uh, neat as possible and it's just amazing isn't it how much it can change you can carry it as a top handle i know a lot of people do use these vanity cases as handbags the nice mini also has this feature of like the double zip you open it up and you've got this lovely cream interior it's um it's a leather interior it's not suede um that is one of our organizers in there but i will just take it out to show you the bag itself and yeah it's literally empty inside now that is the reason why we bought it because we just think it's such a good opportunity to make an organiser for it because if you're storing your makeup in there it's going to be all over the place you need an organiser in it so that is the main reason why we bought this and it has a cute little slip pocket there and this bruschetta leather tab which one should i do next now it's time for the bruschette matisse now i love the bruschette matisse i love it in uh the empronte leather which is what we have here as you can see and i really like the monogram canvas and i love the reverse monogram I think I might have just listed all of the, <laughs> the materials that it comes in, but yeah, I love the Bouchette Matisse. We have ours in the Empronte leather. Now, this is one of two Empronte pieces that we have, and this material, we describe it as bomb proof. Literally, you're not having to worry about your Louis Vuitton bag getting damaged because it literally is bomb proof. But yeah, this leather is such good quality. Now, this bag does actually have a little zip pocket on the back. That's the first one we've come across with um, a zip on the exterior. But it is just a little slip pocket. You can't fit much in, maybe some papers and stuff like that. Again, it comes with a crossbody strap, which looks really cute. Um, I do love how you can switch between the loop. The ones I've covered so far anyway, you've got your top handles. Obviously, like the Pochette Matisse has as well, and then you can just switch to a crossbody, and it looks great either way. Now, the opening of this bag is quite similar to the Quasette. You have to push these two buttons in, and it releases it. Now, we have seen on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that that people do get quite annoyed with this opening because when you're closing it, you end up bashing it around a little bit, and it, this as you, ours has actually got a little bit scratched because of the opening. It's constantly you're missing the the little lock, you're banging it around and it is quite annoying, but that is the only negative thing I would say about this bag really. And it is just what I've been reading on other platforms as well from other handbag addicts and stuff like that. As you can see, it is a flap opening and this bag does actually have two compartments as you can see from the side. I say two, but it does actually have three, okay? You've got that, another slip pocket. So you've got, well, it's actually got four compartments. You've got one zip slip pocket, You've got a slip pocket in the back there. You then have the main compartment and you have a front pocket. So this bag is quite roomy. You've got a lot of different options on, on how you organize your bag, which I just think is always a great thing. As you can see, 
it's like a really nice striped interior, which you don't see very often at Louis Vuitton. I haven't seen that very often either, apart from on this bag. Can't think of any others. I might be wrong, I don't know. So I will just briefly show you what I mean when it closes. You have to proper press it down to make sure it gets in, otherwise you're just flapping around with it and it is a bit of a nightmare. But when I feel like when that's on your body, you can't fully look at the clasp to see, oh, I've got it in the hole. You have to full on mess around with it a little bit. So that is the only thing I would say about this bag, but it's just lovely. I love it. I love how classy it is as well. You can have it as an evening bag with the top handle and you can also just turn it into a day bag with the crossbody. It is really, really versatile. I may as well follow on with our other impromptu piece and this is the Neo Noé. I love this bag. I do think it is one of my favourites. You've got your cute little top handle, which you can take off if you would like and it does come with a longer strap so you can switch between the two really easily you've got this drawstring at the front which either closes your bag so that's with the drawstring um closed obviously you can't get into there very easily and then you literally just pull it down and then you've got a much better access as you can see we've got our golden yellow organizers in there just because i think the golden yellow looks great against the black i did want to keep the organizers in for this one because there is a good reason why. As you can see in the middle, you've got that zip compartment. Now that is fixed, it doesn't come in or it doesn't remove, it's fixed. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to explain that, but it's not fixed right at the bottom. Now it would be impossible for me to show you this in the video, but it doesn't touch the bottom of the bag and you actually have a gap about that big underneath the zip pocket. Now that's just a nightmare for your stuff rolling around and things like that and losing your stuff at the bottom. So by having the organisers inside, you're not going to get that because our organisers do cover that gap. That was just one thing to know. Again, one tiny, tiny negative about this bag is that gap under the zip compartment. But other than that, I do love it. It looks great with so many different outfits. Again, day or evening, and it is a really good size as well. Now for our Alma PM. So we did the BB, which is there in the middle and we've now got the PM. This is in the monogram canvas, and as you can see, this bag is Vachetta leather galore, literally. I actually do get quite scared touching this bag because I am so wary of the Vachetta, um, because as I'm sure you all know if you're Louis Vuitton fans, it is so delicate. Um, we are very careful with this. It's stored in dust bags, it's never taken out in the rain, it's kept away from sunlight as much as possible. And as you can see, it's not actually darkened that much. It's definitely darker than the, oh, I'm pointing to the wrong side. It's definitely darker than the nice BB, nice mini Vichetta, sorry, let me quickly show you that. But there, as you can see, it, is, it has dark, it has patinaed slightly, but not a lot at all, not to the extent of our Neverfull in the background there anywhere. But yeah, it's covered in Vichetta leather. You've got the handles, you've got the handbag tag, you've got the bottom, but thankfully it has feet. And the crossbody strap for this bag is Vichetta as well. You've got um, the double zip feature with the Alma PM, just like you do with the BB. And on the inside, it's this really nice, like dark nude color. It's definitely more brown, don't know why I said nude. But inside, we have just got one of our nude liners in there. You've actually got two internal pockets in the back there. Again, just slip ones. But yeah, that is our Alma PM. I really don't want to touch it for much longer because I did wash my hands before doing this video. So hopefully I have no hand sanitizer or hand cream on it or anything that can <laughs> mark it. But like I say, I am really careful with this bag. But it is just so lovely, isn't it? It's just a shame that the Vichetta leather is so delicate and you have to be quiet. Well, you don't have to be, but we just like to err on the side of precaution when using it. Now we've got an absolute Louis Vuitton classic. It's the Speedy and this is the 30 size. Obviously you've got the Nano Speedy, which is like this big, it's absolutely tiny. Then you've got the 25, so then the 30 is the third size up. You've then got the 35 and I think there's a 40. Again, it's in the Damier Aben. You've got the lovely dark brown handles. As you can see, we've got the cute little lock on ours there. If you're wondering why it's, how it's so stuffed and so stood up right, it's because it's got one of our cushions inside and a liner just for maximum support when it's in storage. The inside of the Speedy is again dark red and you've got a little pocket there but it's got like its own separate flap which I've not come across in any of the bags before. Oh my gosh, look at the difference without the liner or the cushioning. That is one thing about this bag. Yeah, it's a classic but the material, the canvas is so flimsy. I can literally squash it. Look at that. 
That's why you need your handbag liners and you need your handbag cushions from Handbag Angels. And that is all. There really is to say about the speed dip. Again, I just love it. It's a classic. Okay, so next we have our Neverfull MN. Now, this is our only Damier Azo canvas piece. And we really wanted a Damier Azur piece because it just looks great in summer. Like, yeah, you've got your machetta and your machetta is going to patina, it's going to darken like it has on our Neverfull, but it is just a really great summer material. The colours look lovely. With the Neverfull handbags, you can actually adjust the sides, as I'm sure you'll know if you are into your Louis Vuitton. I call it like cinching the sides in. So there we've got the sides, sides cinched. And there we have them not cinched. So you do just get like two kind of tote bag shapes in one. The interior is the lovely, lovely rose ballerine colour. And then you've got a zip pocket um, this time. Not just a slip pocket, it's a zip pocket. Quite a good size as well. You can definitely get a lot in there. And one thing I've just remembered that I have not brought is the never full pouch that comes with this bag. So here you've got um, the little clip and that is what the removable pouch clips to, which comes with this handbag. You can obviously take it out and use it as a clutch bag or a crossbody bag if you've got our conversion kit. Um, but yeah, I've just, oops, I've just realized I've not brought it with me to show you. But I'm sure many of you will have seen the Neverfalls. They are so popular and I'm sure you'll know what the little clutch bag looks like. And I don't think I've got anything else I need to say about that. It's literally just your standard tote bag, but it is really, really lovely. Um, I do also just want to say, we also have the Neverfall GM, which is obviously the next size up from the MM and it's huge. <laughs> it's so big. But unfortunately, it's not with us today. Um, it is actually out being used. Next up, we have the, <laughs> I just went all American then. We have our Palm Springs backpack. Now, how cute is this? I do love the Palm Springs, especially the mini one. It's all over Instagram. It's about this big. It's so cute, but it's always out of stock. Um, but we have, oh, I think this is the PM. I'll have to double check that. I can't actually remember which, what size it is. But yeah, it is just a fabulous Louis Vuitton backpack in the monogram canvas. You've got the black shoulder straps. You've got a li little, I don't know what you call that. Maybe that's for hanging it up. But, or you can carry it like that, I suppose. Right your shoulder, like that. And um, the strap is fully adjustable. And then you've got a little front zip pocket there. One thing I love about this backpack is that the front flaps open like that. So you, it's not restricted. You're not trying to rummage around. You can literally flap it forward and see everything inside. The interior is black, as you can see. And you've got one little slip pocket at the back. Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> and my angel's business cards. But I do think backpacks are really in fashion at the minute. I think they have been for a while, especially with the Palm Springs Minute being so popular. Um, other brands are definitely catching on to that trend, I find, anyway. This is the second to last bag. Um, it should be the fourth to last. But like I said, we've not got the Neverfull GM here with us today and we've also not got our toiletry pouch. I did unfortunately forget to bring the toiletry pouch with me, but yeah, we have the 26 size. Going back to the handbags that we actually have here with us, this is the Montaigne GM. Now this bag is so nice. It's really big as well. We have a Louis Vuitton strap on this. This strap didn't actually come with the Montaigne. Um, a really small monogram canvas strap came with this bag which just it wasn't a great strap to use with this bag at all but that's a different story i can talk about that in a montane separate video similar to the hour pm we've got quite a bit of a shetter going on but by no means as much as the hour pm you've got your machetta handles and your little tabs on the side oh there's a penny in there Inside, you've got this lovely burgundy interior, and as you can see, you actually have three separate compartments. You've got your zip one in the middle. Now, that zip compartment is actually sewn to the bottom of the bag, unlike the Neon Away, where's it gone? There. <laughs> and you've also got quite a few internal pockets on the two outer compartments as well. It's got feet. We love a bag with feet, as I've already said, and you can actually clip it together so it's a little bit more secure. This bag does actually get quite a lot of use out of it. It's one of Leslie's favourites who owns Handbag Angels, but you wouldn't think it would just. She is really good at keeping the machetta looking really nice. But yeah, this is probably the second to largest bag, Louis Vuitton bag that we've got. The Neverfull GM is slightly bigger than this one. Last, but definitely not least because, um, 
this is a really cool little bag. Uh, we've got the Kirigami 3 set. If you don't already know, the Kirigami comes as a 3 set. And in my opinion, it's really good value for money. You've got the large, the medium, and then you've got this really small, cute one. It works as like a, a Russian doll type thing. They all fit inside each other, which I think is so clever. It's really good for storage. And yeah, there you have it with the other two bags inside. Now, the reason we bought this is because, yeah, it's a really good clutch bag. But how annoying can clutch bags be sometimes? So if you've not already seen it, but I'm sure a lot of you will have done, we have conversion kits for all three sizes. So you can turn the two bigger ones into a fabulous crossbody bag and the other one into a handbag charm. Now, I'll link the video below um, for the conversion kits. It talks all about the kits and you can get more details on that there. I didn't know whether to include this or not because I don't know if, if people would class it as a handbag or like a small leather good type thing, but I thought, why not? Let's just include it because it's cute. Now, the Kirigami does conclude today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're actually still watching because I think this will be the longest YouTube video I've ever done. But yeah, I hope it's been a good one. I hope you've enjoyed seeing our collection. Like I said at the very start, if there are any of the handbags that you want to see a more in-depth video on, please do just comment below and it'll be no problem at all. Of course, I will do that. And yeah, I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We have just hit 700 subscribers, which might not seem a lot to a lot of people, but to us, um, it is quite a big number. So yeah, it'd be lovely if you could subscribe and hopefully we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.